Hello and welcome back to this new video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cardboard DC-17. So the first thing I did was I drew a template. You just want to look at a reference image and draw how the gun looks or the blaster looks. And then I cut the template into two parts. And I traced the bottom part out on a piece of cardboard. You want to trace out two parts and two strips of cardboard. And then what I did was I created a box out of it and it's around four centimeters wide. And what I also did was on the sides, I removed the corrugation of the cardboard because then when you glue it together, you won't have a seam of the corrugation. So when you're removing the corrugation on the sides, take your time with it because if you rush it, then it will not come out looking good. Now, when you're gluing this together, you may want to add some reinforcements on the inside to make the blaster stronger. I didn't do this and that was just my mistake. So the blaster isn't as strong but I'll just use it as a display piece, so I won't use it for a cosplay. But if you will use it for a cosplay, just add some reinforcements and it will make the blaster a lot stronger. So if you made it this far, congratulations, you have a box. But now what I'm going to do is get my template I made for the top of the rifle or the blaster. And I'm just gonna make the top part of the, of the gun. And you want to cut this out because it's a detail on the blaster. And I'm going to cut this off because it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's a strip on the top. So it doesn't need to be on here. So I'm going to make that right now. Now for this part, I took the top half of my template and I cut out that little detail piece. I trace it out two times on a piece of cardboard. And make sure on the detail uh, piece on the back, you want to glue an extra piece of cardboard because I don't think anybody want anybody wants any holes in your blaster I don't certainly and just do that and then you'll be good to go so for covering up the top part of the blaster I used the same technique I did on the bottom so just remove the corrugation on the side of the cardboard and glue it on now make sure you don't have any seams between your cardboard strips because then you have to cover that up with spackle and I made that mistake, so I'm just telling you that right now, so don't that you don't make the same mistake that I did. So I just finished the upper part of the gun, but I still need to add the barrel and the details on here. But now we're going to make the handle of the pistol and also the trigger that goes right there. So when I first made the handle for the blaster, I thought it was looking a little big, but that's just because there isn't any other details on there yet. So don't worry if your blaster looks a bit weird when you glue on the handle of the blaster. So I just finished the main, like all the parts of the gun, so the handle and the top part. And now what I'm going to do is make the trigger, which will go right here of course. And you want to trace out three of these and in one of them you want to have this little piece right here for the trigger. Now the trigger will not work on this gun. Uh, you can try to make it work but I'm not going to because yeah, I don't need it to work, I just have it as a display piece. And yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make that right now. So for the trigger, as I explained earlier, just want to trace out three of those pieces I showed you earlier, and one of them should have a trigger. And because these pieces are quite thin, you, you really want to take your time when you cut them out, because otherwise they may be rip apart and that's not nice. And when you glue on the trigger guard, Make sure it sits like straight in the middle because it needs to line up with the barrel and otherwise it will look kind of weird and off so just be careful when you do that. And also, I glued on some thin cardboard on the outside edge of the trigger uh, guard because then you'll cover up the corrugation and it'll look really nice and will, it will look a lot more realistic. So what I started doing here was gluing on all the details of the blaster. And just make sure when you do this you look at a really good reference image so you don't miss any details that are on the gun so that it looks a lot more realistic. So I just finished all the details on the gun. As, as you can see the barrel and the circle on the back. And now what I'm going to do is spackle all these seams that go all the way around here. And also this little gap on the back because that's just really ugly. So I'm going to do that right now. So I finished all the spackling because it's just the same on every prop. It was It's the same on every like the same as on my Django Fett helmet. Just cover up all the seams that are, are visible. And for the sanding, I first sanded with 400 grit and then I moved up to 800 grit so that it looks really smooth. And make sure you don't forget anything because otherwise it will look really weird. And make sure it looks really smooth 
and then you'll be good to go. And make sure when you're sanding, you're wearing a mask and you're sitting in a well-ventilated area. Now for the painting, I just first painted, uh, spray painted on some primer and then I spray painted on some black. Now the weathering is probably the easiest part. Just take some, I took, just took some silver paint and went along the edges of the blaster and you can add as much or as little uh, weathering as you want. I just, just, I think I went like a medium. I didn't like do a lot of weathering, just not around the edges. And m make sure you do weather it because it will look a lot nicer. And here we have it, the finished prop. Now I just want to thank you for watching this video and please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on what I should make in my other videos, please leave them in the comments below. Until then, goodbye.